telling us to go. Yep, not going. So I'm pushing on the pedal a little bit for it to go. It's told me to go over to the other lane. So I got disengaged. Why are you pulling over into a parking lot? Hey everyone, just a nice guy here. Doing some more testing here. Back at it again with version 12.5.1.3. Doing some testing here. Just gonna see how it performs. It's quite busy here today. There's an event at the Red Bull Arena here. So lots of traffic. We'll see how it goes. There's gonna be some uh, guards here, traffic guards, telling when we can move, where to go. So let's see how it performs. See, the guards up ahead telling the uh, car to stop and letting the other cars turn in first. And the sun's in my eyes, but still cannot use vision based monitoring with sunglasses yet. So, just kind of bear with it. Okay, we are gonna turn right here. This is lots of traffic here. Just again, local streets, just giving a test see how it goes right that was not too difficult pretty easy we could probably move a little bit to the right side for it to go but sitting here there's a car behind me so what normally I would do probably just move up a little bit because I could probably fit in between those um, tight spaces here We can go. So, all right, let's go. It's telling us to go. Yep, not going. So, I'm pushing on the pedal a little bit for it to go because there were some signs of the traffic guard telling me to go proceed. It, it was turning red and full cell driving will not go so you saw that notification up here here cruise control will not break and that's correct because i was pushing on the brake i was pushing sorry i was pushing on the pedal for it to go because it just wasn't moving and the guard told me to go ahead so reading sign reading hand gesture still not solved yet with this update and same thing happened last time and true um it's hard for ai to differentiate which is the right movement which hand movement are correct some bad actors may just kind of troll full cell driving with that so it's hard to differentiate definitely some human supervision when there are, are traffic guards involved so i'm just going straight and i know eventually this lane that i'm on will become a left turn lane and the right lane to go straight is more empty i'm not sure why full cell driving isn't attempting to move over to the right side I have, it's in the assertive settings and minimal lane changes, minimal lane changes are turned off. So it definitely has the ability to go forward and change lanes, but it's not doing so. And with the stop and go traffic, um, I'm probably gonna, of course gonna edit this part out and leave the full uncut version down below the subscribe button. So feel free to watch that. It's honking here. Um, the right lane is empty and these cars weren't moving. So um, closed cars were being honked at because I guess they didn't want to sit in the middle of the intersection. So that's why they weren't moving and there was some honking involved. He's telling me to go and it's not going. So I'm going to push on the pedal told me to go over to the other lane so I got disengaged because he wants me to move over um, there's nothing I could really do and the car wasn't handling that so I had to take over I pushed on the pedal slightly for it to go and thinking it would move over to the rightmost lane but it didn't do that so I had to disengage and yeah because we were sitting in the middle of the intersection all right, let me just re-engage full self driving. Nope, it's not letting me. I'm trying again. All right. So it got lucky. Um, I wanted to see how, when would it move over here to the right most lane. But um, looks like I'm not going to see that since I had to move it over myself. 
But yeah, speaking of the car sitting at the intersection, in my last video, the car was sitting at the intersection and didn't and was supposed to make the left turn. But I, because I think it's due to just the car sitting there for so long while I was waiting for Odo's car to pass, I didn't realize that the car was actually out in the intersection. So it was doing the correct thing, making the left turn, and I disengaged. Um, so thanks for the comments on letting me know that. Realize that after I watched the video. So it did the right thing. Um, so, so full self driving did better than me, which is great. That's what the software is supposed to be in the first place. Okay, now that we're kind of out of the vicinity of the where the game is being held, uh, traffic should slow down a little bit. Okay, let's see. Come on, you can do it. Yep. Not pushing on the pedal. It just went and did that and followed the lead Tesla, uh, followed the lead car here, the, the other Tesla. So that's not too hard when there is a lead car to follow. Okay, moving over slightly for this double park car. All right, good job there. Okay, I'm gonna push it a little forward. Just give it some, give the car, never mind. Because I want to push forward a little bit because it was just waiting behind the limit line and I just want to move forward so there's enough room for the car behind me to uh, pass me. But the traffic went through just fine and I did not need to press on the pedal. All right, sun's in my eyes, sun's in the camera's eye and it's doing just fine. Really wish they would, uh, bring vision with uh, sunglasses. Just need to make a right turn up ahead, but there's lots of cars here. But so far, after besides that um, area at Harrison, it's doing a great job here. All right, we can turn on red and stop because there's a red light here. Let's see what we'll try to proceed. It doesn't. And the car behind me is not honking at me. So, not affecting anyone. So, I'm just going to let it sit here. Put my hand on the steering, make sure it doesn't curve right there. That curve looks pretty high up. Okay, seem a little too close for comfort. Um, so I didn't disengage right there. It didn't felt wide enough, so I definitely didn't dis engage because I don't want it to go over that huge curve. Slow down for this pedestrian crossing. Good job there. attention to the road and yes it's definitely a lot, a lot more sensitive compared to applying uh, pressure to the steering wheel because I can look away in about like three four five seconds and that's all it takes for the prompt to show up definitely way more sensitive than applying pressure to the steering wheel and a lot more frequent so I can't wait for unsupervised but that may take a while for it to actually come out. All right, let's make a left turn up ahead. All right, good job on the left turn. And that has definitely been an update for sure. Aren't we supposed to go to the uh, left side right here? Why did it end up going straight? Is it because I haven't updated the map? Is that why? But that never usually affect full self driving. Like the route was set already. Hmm. Oh well, it's fine. I didn't realize that doing that would affect the route 
generally it doesn't. Right, let's remove this location here. Okay, all right, that was definitely on me for um, changing the route too quickly. Luckily, there was no cars behind me, but did not expect the car to actually do that. But it's probably because I changed the route at the last minute. I guess it was doing as intended, but did not expect that. Right, so we need to make a left turn here. Right turn, sorry. Okay. And the double park car here moves over. Yep. So uh, that happened. Pedestrian was definitely not happy about that. Fuso driving had all the signs of slowing down and stopping, but I think it took too long for it to recognize and see that there's a dog and a pedestrian in the middle of the road that it just took forever to stop. So I had to stop, and when I did, I stopped in front of them. So had Fuso driving stopped, it may have stopped even a little bit closer, which was uh, not good. So I just wish Fuso driving could have stopped earlier for that. But I'm um, re-engaging Fuso driving now. Slow down for this car. This van actually, oh sorry, this pickup truck that's coming out. Because it wasn't sure what the car will actually do. Let's edit the trip here and remove this last one. And let's see how it kind of reroute to where it needs to go. light we can go all right it's just didn't know why I stopped it probably because it started a stop sign there all right the rose a little okay why are you pulling over into a parking lot it has a destination why is it pulling out here and stopping don't push on the pedal don't push on the pedal again all right is the car coming Wait for it. All right. Not sure why it decided to pull over at a gas station. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Not sure why it pulled over at a gas station. That was trolling because I don't don't need get gas for this car. Do I? Um, all right. All right, this lane merges in. Yeah, I just wish it wouldn't do that. Like, it has the map data. It knows that this lane will end. So, okay, just stay in the middle lane and not need to merge in but so i don't like it when it actually moves over sure we're ahead by a few cars but i don't want to cut anyone off i would have been fine with it just staying in the middle lane which happens quite a lot actually i've seen um with this newer update of the ai driven one it tends to move over to the rightmost lane only to move back to the middle lane. So had it just stayed there, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. All right, need to make a right turn here. So let's see, okay. All right, gets me in. All right, probably gonna take me straight to where I need to go, which is awesome.
right. Let's try and find me a spot here. Mission. That's pretty cool. That took me to this spot. I don't think I should be parking here, but pretty cool that it took me to a spot right here. I'm gonna wait for this car to go first. But that was awesome. That it actually tried to find a parking spot for me, which is just not the right spot for me. But um, cool that it tried to find me a spot here. But yeah, overall, it's good. On the left turns, which is definitely an improvement compared to older past versions. But um, the right turn still, I feel like only work version 12. It has been getting too close to the curb. Um, so I have to make sure I disengage. Don't, don't want to curb my wheels. It did great at Harrison with all those people and those cars. So that's good. The right turn, the gas station pulling over. That's just probably because I changed the destination too late. But I just wish full self-driving stopped earlier for the pedestrian and the dog. So didn't have any words for me. But either way, um, let me know what you think about this drive down in the comments below.